Explain how this co-chair agreement allows customers here affordable access to international destinations. Well, again, it's the it's the merging of the network system. So where Airlink has a comprehensive, the most comprehensive airline network system in Southern Africa, uh, it gives access to all of those that originate their travels from points within our network through our main hubs, Johannesburg and Cape Town International, and then connecting onwards to uh, destinations that Doha reaches uh, through Qatar Airways. Um, so, you know, they've got hundreds of destinations out of Doha, and we've got our 55 destinations out of Johannesburg and Cape Town. And basically through the two hubs, you know, you know Johannesburg and Cape Town and via Doha, our customers have got access to the world on their system and Com- vice versa. Roger, Kame accounted for 40% of capacity in the region. How much is that up for grabs? Well, allow me to correct you if you don't mind, Bongani. I think they had 40% capacity of the routes that they operated domestically in South Africa. And I think that, from a domestic perspective, has created a little bit of a gap. Um, There's an argument that says, to some extent, there was too much capacity in the market. And there's always the debate that says that, you know, on an Easter weekend, for example, or the Cape Cycle Tour or the Cape Town Jazz Festival or whatever, where there is really a spike in demand, it doesn't matter what capacity there is in the system, it's not enough to satisfy that demand. But for every other day in the year, there has been too much capacity. And I think the evidence of that is the state of the industry generally, not just Comair, but if you have a look at what happened pre-COVID, we had South African Airways going into business rescue, coming out of business rescue subsequently and trying to find their way back into the market right now. You had the same with Mango and with with SA Express and of course Comair going into business rescue, trying to come out of business rescue, but unfortunately, very sadly, succumbing. I think that for me is an indication of the unsustainability of the industry, generally speaking. So now that 40% of the domestic capacity that has been removed, my sense is that possibly some of it needs to come back, but not all of it. The industry needs to be sustainable, and I think that that's in everybody's best interests. We need sustainable air travel. It needs to be affordable. It needs to be reliable and safe. And, you know, it obviously couldn't on the basis that, um, that you had all of these airline failures. That has to stop. 702. More than a radio station. Let's walk the talk.